Police believe they have found the body of a missing 44-year-old woman who went missing back in September in Missouri. As you can see from the title, she had said that uh, her ex was threatening to unalive her. She then vanished and now a body has been found. The police department said on social media that while they were looking for Ebony Duncan um, during their inquiries, a canine located the body of a deceased person in the woods nearby. Police did notice that the body had identifiers that were consistent of those with Ebony Duncan and police believe that the deceased person that they have found is indeed Ebony. According to the police they are still waiting for an actual positive identification of her um, that has not yet been done and obviously while they wait this um, has been done at the Jackson County Medical Examiner's Office. They say that they are looking at things like the height, the weight, the eye colour, the hair colour, any scars, marks and tattoos. And they're the kind of things that will have led to the positive identifiers that I just mentioned. Now, according to the police documents, um, a missing persons case was opened on September the 7th. And this was after her friends and family were rightly um, concerned because they were unable to contact her and she didn't show up for work the next morning um, and she was last seen at around 5 30 p.m the day before as she was preparing to leave for work now the court documents show that ebony duncan alleges that a um, that she confided in a co-worker of hers and said that a former boyfriend of hers later identified um, by her daughter as Charles Smith was threatening to kill her. He also remained to be one of the suspects in this case um, but he is currently in federal custody on charges of illegally possessing ammunition and he is set to remain in custody until his trial date in January 2024. Um, and it's not clear if he'd entered a plea or even if he had retained an attorney. This guy has a lengthy criminal history and he is known for um, trafficking illegal substances, possessing controlled substances. He's also known for robbery and firearm related type of crimes. Investigators are going to currently be looking into Ebony's last known whereabouts. This includes looking at surveillance footage as well as the bystanders that saw or may have seen Ebony leaving in a car, which was a silver four-door sedan. Um, and this was said to have pulled up right behind her after she had finished work at approximately 18.11 on the se September the 6th. They also say that the car was owned by um, her ex's current girlfriend because the registration details were KR. Police are also looking um, for the public's help in looking for a person of interest. This person is Kira Ramsberg and she's 42. It's not clear if she is the person referenced in the court documents though but she is wanted in questioning in Ebony's disappearance she is described as being five feet tall 150 pounds with brown eyes if you do have any information on this whereabouts contact Crime Stoppers tips hotline at 816-474- tips or on their website at https forward slash forward slash www.kccrimestoppers.com and obviously let them know there's not much more information on her description though but that is all for now let me know your thoughts on this case another sad case another person that has lost their life um as i get information on this case of course i'm going to keep you guys you know updated on everything that i know if i find it you'll get to hear it too let me know your thoughts guys and i'll see you soon bye